before we start our class, uh, I would like to ask Justin Bayani to lead us in our prayer. Ako po tayong lahat at manalangin na mga Diyos, manal mo kapangyarihan sa lahat sa oras na ito, Panginoon. Humingi po kami ng basbas upang maunawaan namin ang aming pag-aaralan sa oras na ito. Bigyan niyo po kami ng sapat na katalinuhan, karunuhan, Panginoon. Sa iyo, Panginoon, pinakamata sa papunit pagsamba sa pangalan mo, Jesus. Amen. Alright, thank you so much, Justin. Now, uh, if I will call your name, say, a present, or maybe you can, you know, just do reaction in our chat box okay so Vanessa all right thank you Natalia present okay Emily present for you Justin Okay, so everybody is here. Thank you, Sama. I have a presentation here, which is uh, talks about Sigmund Freud. Who knows about Sigmund Freud? Is anybody knows about Sigmund Freud? Oh, uh, nobody. Knows, <laughs> nobody knows about Sigmund Freud. Okay. Well, today we're going to talk about the structural theory of personality. Have you ever asked yourself what kind of personality that you might have? Is anybody here? No, okay. All right. So personality, it comes to our, you know, in our soul, we call that character. But usually the personality, it is developed when you were a child until you were growing up. Okay, so it, it could be developed. So that's why today we're going to learn about the theory of personality by Sigmund Freud. Now, let's go to our next page. So first one, okay, first one. But before that, we have to talk about who is Sigmund Freud. Okay, now, Emily, I want you to read Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud, 1856 to 1939. He was the founding father of psychoanalysis, a method of for treating mental illness and also a theory which explained human behavior. All right, thank you so much, Emily. Now, we, Sigmund Freud is actually a psychologist, okay? So he was, he was the founding father of psychoanalysis if we remember, Sigmund Freud is uh, actually, he has this theory of what we call psychosexual theory. But we just focus here the personality of the person, okay? So a method for treating mental illness and also theory with which explains human behavior. We might wonder what kind of personality they have. So in this theory, we will able to learn how and why you know this child or what kind of personality that she or he has uh we have three pieces of id ego and super ego so set up three concepts in psychoanalytic theory describing describing this distinct interacting agent in the psychic apparat apparatus the three agents are in theoretical con construct that described activities and interaction of the mental life of a person. Now, either conflict, basic and instinctual drives played role for how personalities develop. So if we try to take a look at this uh, three pieces of mind. So first we have what we call ID and then ego and then super ego. So later we're going to discuss it further in our next uh, slide. Okay, so the first one is what we called it or ID. So this it is actually uh, consists of consists of unconscious psychic energy. So here is where you store your memory. Okay, your memory. For example, of this. Uh, like for example, 
when you are a child, you see a child is. We know that the personality of a child, everything that, every everything, that he see that he wants that he wants to get. You know, it's oh, I want that. I want toy, right? I want nerf gun. I want Lego car. So that's the personality of the child that develop. So we call that I, D, or it. Now next is ego. Ego is this is the executive mediator. See, this is like between. Okay, it's in the middle. So this is what we call the preconscious mind, outside awareness, but accessible. And then the third one, the third piece of the uh, of the mind is what we call super ego. So this super ego internalized ideals, or what we call conscious mind. So actually, this this super ego has an access to ego. Okay, at the same time, super ego. So that's why it has you know shared together. All right. Do you have any question? Do you have any question, guys? No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, the ID or ID. Now I want you to read Trisha. Can you read the ID? The ID is the part of personality shock. Instinctual drives such as sex, hunger aggressiveness it is based on pleasure principle to be avoid pain or displeasure and to be and to obtain pleasure all right well thank you so much tricia now the eat or id the eat is the part of the personality structure that includes a human basic needs instinctual drive sets a sex hunger aggressiveness so that's why you notice that the children you know when they're hungry right you might see that they are crying okay when they like something they always wanted to get it okay because that part of their personality was developed okay the instinctual drive that says sex hunger aggressiveness so it is based on pleasure principle to avoid pain or displeasure and to obtain pleasure for example if you vote on an ice cream for the children yes they are really happy for that okay to be pleasure they either go satisfy they're like happy so that is it that just like what example they give to you you know the child a child is wanting to have, uh, let's say, for example, a toy, yeah, because he just passed by and see the store. There is a toy, and he said, "Oh, I want a toy." It makes him or it makes her happy, and that's why it 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 drives him to, you know, uh, that sense of personality, to 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 be satisfied or happy. Okay, so that is it. Now, next one is the ego now I want you to read uh, Justin go ahead Justin what is ego the ego is the component of personality that is responsible for deal for dealing with reality that attempts to mediate between the ID and super ego in its relation to the ID it is like a man on a rampant horse like the ID, the ego seeks pleasure and avoids pain when appropriate outlet is found. But unlike the ID, the ego is concerned with devising a realistic strategy to get pleasure. Okay, there you go. So the ego, the ego is the component of personality that is responsible for dealing with reality that attempts to mediate between the it and super ego. In its relations to the it, it's it is like a man on a rampant horse. So this, okay, this pays or what we call ego, this is like a mediator. So when you say mediator, it's between. So a while ago, the children wants to have an ice cream. So in this, in this case, in this scenario, in this personality, he has the mind or understanding, oh, my mom told me that I should share also the ice cream, okay? So you're helping have a solvent now. So you're just dealing with reality. 
and try to mediate, okay? Balance, in other words, you have now the idea to balance it, all right? Now, like the I, it or ID, the ego seeks pleasures and avoids pain when appropriate outlet is found. But unlike the it, the ego is concerned with devising a realistic strategy to get pleasure. So in this time, he knows how to balance. Now, next is the last one. What do we have here? Here is super ego. Now, what is super ego? Now, let's hear from Vanessa. What is super ego? The super ego is the moral part of the personality that includes the values, social rules, and learn from people's and as an end. Which are learned from people's, people's parents and others. The super ego's function is to control the its impulses such as social prohibitions, taboos, sex, and aggression. Okay, well, thank you so much, Vanessa. Now, the super ego is the moral part of the personality that includes the values. So here is you're already grown up, okay? So you know what the values, social roles, and morals of society, which are learned from people, parents, and others. Okay, so in this part, you already like I'm saying that you're you you became like an adult and you've learned that from your parents. You know this moral depth that you get. Not just only your parents, sometimes also in our like in our environment, okay, or society. Now the super ego's function is to control the its impulses as social prohibition, taboo six, and ag aggression. So, you, you have now the uh, the control, okay? So you know now what is bad and what is wrong, okay? You know what is bad and what is wrong. So this is the super ego. So I know that everybody, if, if you if you grown up, okay, you know what is right and you know what is wrong. You know when your parents get you mad and you know what your parents makes you happy, right? So in this phase of scenario or in this personality, we will be able to know uh, what is wrong and what is right. Okay? So in conclude of our discussion today, so I'll give you this illustration. At the same time, this is the example. Okay? Look at that. So there is in our mind, okay? So there is actually three pieces of our in our mind. So look at that. The example of it is I want it now. Just like what I said to you. So I want you to take calm this word. I want it now. So this is it drives your your personality to become, you know, you just want to be happy or this pleasure, satisfied. I want it. You don't you don't care, okay? You don't know what is good, what is bad. Maybe you, your child is saying that night, and I want it. <laughs> okay, so because he doesn't have any idea or what we call it, he can't balance it. All right. Now next is ego. I need to do a bit of planning to get it. All right. So this one you have already an idea. Oh, is, is this good? All right. Or maybe I maybe my parents said that that I should. You know, I should do this. My parents said that I sh should share my, you know, my food or my ice cream to, you know, my my brother. So this piece of ego, you have already understand. So super ego, this is the third piece of our mind. So you can't have it. It's not right. So this is the example. Like this, in this scenario, in this personality, you have the moral, okay? You know how to balance it. You know how you know what is right and you know what is wrong. Okay? You you've grown up already. Okay? So I hope that you've learned something. And uh yes, I will give you homework. So just take a rest for a whole week and we'll see you in the next class. Alright. Do you have any questions, guys? No, no, okay. Well, thank you so much. We'll hope to see you again. And good day. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, Paul. 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 Okay.
Um, good morning, sir. Good morning, classmate. We are the group one. And we are when we are here to report the structural theory of personality by Sigmund Freud. Next na po, sir. Sigmund Freud. 1856 to 1939. He was the founding father of psychoanalysis of a method for treating mental illness and also a theory which explains human behavior. So, si Sigmund Freud daw, siya yung, siya yung, nag, siya yung naggawa ng psychoanalysis. Yun po yung ano, method para pampa, isa may mga, may, di ba po ngayon meron ng mga mental. Siya po yung unang nakagawa ng gamot doon. Tapos, siya rin po yung gumawa ng theory ng i-explain na, ng i-report namin ngayon. Next, sir. So, the eight ego and super ego is the set of three concepts in psychoanalytic theory describing distinct interacting agents in the psychic apparatus. This the three agents are theoretical constructs that describe the activities and interactions of the mental life of a person. Inner conflicts, basic and instinctual drives, play to role for how personalities develop. So, ito po yung nire-report namin. Id, ego, and superego. So, sa mga susunod po na slides, is, maintindihan nyo po kung ano ang ibig, ang ibig sabihin na ito. So, the id is the unconscious psychic energy. So, unconscious is not accessible. Ganon, yung hindi mo alam, ganun. Ego naman yung executive mediator. Ito yung pre-conscious mind. Tapos yung super ego naman is, and it is the unconscious psychic energy. It is yung unconscious mind. Yung hindi natin alam. Pero minsan, yun yung nagagawa natin. Ego is the executive mediator. Ito naman yung pre-conscious mind. Outside awareness, but accessible. So, ito yung magsasabi sa atin pag kasi ni sa pagka yung id pagka gusto natin is gusto lang natin yung ego naman is yung magsasabi sa atin kung kung bakit ito yung mag ano natin eh guiltiness natin yung magsabi kung tama ba yung ginagawa natin yung super ego naman is internalized idea so ito yung conscious mind natin ito yung present awareness natin next po so the id Ate Emily, pwede pong pakibasa. Emily, pakibasa po. Id. Ano? Sorry, pakibasa. sorry, sorry. Ay. Ay. <laughs> the, I, the id is the part of the personality structure that includes a human basis, a basic needs, institutional drives such as sex, hunger, aggressiveness. It is based on the pleasure principle to avoid pain or displeasure and to obtain pleasure. So, yung id po is ito po yung kung ano lang po yung gusto natin. Hindi po iniisip ng id yung yung magiging consequences. Halimbawa po, ka, may mga may mga pagkukutom tayo, yun, pagkutom tayo. Tapos may nakatay yung pagkakain. May mga tao po na nanakawin yun, kahit na mali yun. Pero dahil po sa kung gutom na gutom ka po talaga, is mananakaw mo po yun. Yun po yung para po matang, ma, ano mo yung para mawala na yung pagkagutom mo. Kung bagay, yung iniintindi lang po ng id is yung kagustuhan mo lang. Hindi niya iniintindi yung magiging mga konsekwente sa liba. Yung bawal ba yun? Kung masama ba yun? Kung dapat bang gawin yun? Ganon. Yun po yung id na personality natin. Ito po yung nag-drive sa tao na gumawa ng mali. The egg, the ego. Um, Trisha, pakibasa. The ego is the component of personality that is responsible for the reality that it attempts to make it easier to explain the age and to the ego in its relation to the age. It is like a man 
or are from sand falls like the ocean to pleasure and avoid things that are properly out there is found but unlike the ego the ego is concerned with devising a realistic strategy to get pleasure When we say ego, ayan ay nagiging responsible na tayo sa mga ginagawa natin. What is the example of that? Before natin gawin is yung pinag-iisipan na natin at the same time, magpa-plano na tayo kasi alam na natin kung ano yung magiging impact or kaya yung kakalabasan ng mga gagawin natin. Next. Justin, pakibasa. Super ego is the moral part of the personality that includes the values, social rules, and morals of society which are learned from people's parents and others. The super ego's function is to control the ideas, impulses such as social prohibitions, taboos, sex, and aggression. When we say super ego naman, ayan naman is yung nagbabayos na tayo kung ano, kung ano yung tama at saka mali natin gagawa. Gagawin kasi dyan sa super ego, um, aware na tayo eh. Alam na natin if yung gagawin ba natin is makakabuti sa atin or makakasama. Next. Okay. Ito yung example ng tatlo. Yung id and then ego at saka super ego. O yun nga, kapag sila natin id, yun yung kapag gusto lang natin, gagawin natin without thinking ano, kung ano ba yung kakalabasan. At saka kapag sinabi naman natin ego, ayun naman is yung nagiging um, responsible na tayo sa mga sa magiging impact ng gagawin natin. And when, when we say super ego naman, ayun naman yung nagiging aware tayo if gagawin ba natin ay tama or mali. So in conclusion guys, Sigmund Freud theory it, it has three: id, ego, and super ego. Id is yung nagtutu- nagtutulong sa atin na gumawa ng bagay na hindi pinag-iisipan. Ego naman is yung nag-iisip na kung ano yung dapat na gawin natin. Super ego naman is yung nagsasabi kung tama o mali yung gagawin natin. And that is the end of our report. Thank you.